coming at you guys. Take six. No interruptions this time. It's a beautiful day. And there's been planes out, but you know what? I'm staring at a bunch of hops We're that talking need to hop, be harvested. Hopzilla. Hop I mean, Hopzilla. It's a beautiful thing. And uh, the grapes are all turning, the ones that are red are turning red, and they're all growing, and everything's in bloom. I'm just back a few days now from my drive through California back bit. And we'll talk about that and other things, but we need a beer. So we've got the NZ IPA. This one comes from Larmo 22. This was going to be a competition beer originally. All right, Larmo, let's see how shitty your beer is. Or good. Uh, let's see here. It's turning to the T side, so I probably didn't get to it quick enough. Nice. Ooh, I, it's like jammy. It smells jammy to me. Some tea and some jam, you know? New Zealand IPA. Yeah, New my Zealand, bad. but I'm thinking British, no? Uh, uh, crumpets and jam or teen jam, whatever. That's what it's making me think Do about. Do you know that they like that stuff in uh, Australia and New Zealand also? I mean, I they are British, technically. Well, came from there, yeah. They were just, you know, Just evicted. criminals. Yeah, evicted. So, but this makes me think right now. Wow, this is really jammy. This is like high tea when you get the little sandwiches and the jams and stuff with the oh, tea. crackers. I mean, we should get like a buffet of jams and crackers. Oh my God, and... there's just this huge strawberry jam and some Damn. other, like some berries. It smells delicious. Oh my God, this is awesome. All right, let's do it, man. Cheers. Thank you, Larry. A little bit of maltiness, kind of medium body, but that jamminess kind of is carrying through right now. Mm. You know what I would call this? Larific. Because it is right. Larry terrific. That works. That works for me. Mm. All right. So, so I took this trip to California. We we booked down. I hit Caldera Brewing. I'll throw some Caldor Brewing video up. I book on down to uh, towards Santa Rosa. My aunt lives on the border of Sonoma Valley, Santa Rosa. Really, it's more like Sonoma because you just drive out of the community and you're right on top of the vineyards. So we went out to uh, to a winery and had some fun. Uh, 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 I got got chatting with a guy and. Uh, they pulled out the silver Cabernet, and then they pulled out the gold Cabernet, and I've actually tasted it before. And then, then they had the $100 per bottle Cabernet, and I got them to give me a little pour. Yeah, oh my God, that was good. It was crazy good. So we had fun. The next day I'm I went to... I'm just really upset that you were drinking wine instead of beer. Or the fact that I wasn't on the trip, yeah, and that's I didn't get the to truth. Yeah. drink any of this. Yeah. But I made it up because the next day I was at the brewery for Russian River before the open in the line. And I was picking up some beer for Puka NC. And I go in and I got you gotta love this. It's kind of unique. I'm with my wife. So Mrs. Clements Homebrew doesn't drink beer. She loves to smell it and you know mm -hmm. say, oh, good or bad. But so I asked the guy, I need to get a taster. She goes, okay. So the board, and it's this much money. I'm like, the board? And they got all these beers on the board. Yeah, that's how we do it. You just, you get the whole lineup on everything on the board, which was like 16 beers. I'm like, this is like, you know, going towards lunch, and we're just like, uh, and we're going to go on the road. It's like, uh, I'll, I'd be trashed if I had to drink the whole thing. It's like, uh, I was thinking I was going to try five of them. She goes, yeah, we don't do that. So... So finally she I lets love me off. Russia, right? <laughs> I know. So finally she lets me off and she goes, Okay, well, we do have another option. You can either take the left side of the board or the right side of the board. So all the sours and the really expensive ones are on the right side. And it's the same price. So I go up, oh, right side of the board. Yeah. And they lined up eight beers and I got some video. I'll show you that at the end too. It was fun, but I, I plowed through those. I picked up some stuff for Brad. Puka NC, and, uh, and then we headed down the road, but 
Fun little place. It's packed. Even as I was leaving, there's a line out the door to get into Russian River. Head down the coast. We get to the um, Monterey area. It's actually a little peninsula at the end of Monterey. Spend some time with friends. Go to a really nice restaurant. Keep heading down. Eventually, I pick up my best friend, Dan, who takes me to a sweet little pub. I'll show a video on that. And then I hit down in San Diego. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to uh, catch up with Stumpy Joe Jr. That was a bummer. Um, the communication didn't work, and and it got busy, and family wanted to spend time with me. But I did get to spend time with Brandon Finch and try a very fabulous beer. My top of my white whale is... Thank you, Brandon. I got to have Utopias from Samuel Adams, so that was stellar. And we went to uh, Pizza Port, and I had uh, nephews there, and uh, including Man Bear Pig and Brandon, and we had a good time. I don't even know why I'm here. I'm so depressed right now. <laughs> so I'm going to elevate his mood. This is, this is where I'm moving to. In between, while I'm in the Huntington Beach area, Staying at my sister's house in Huntington Beach, and we we're visiting uh, Mrs. Clements Homebrew's cousin, and her cousin happens to live in Corona Del Mar, and her other cousin, whom I went to school at Huntington Beach, and so I'll just say it, Chris Townsend. Thank you, Chris. So we went to to dinner with the cousins, and. Uh, I reminded Chris that my son is a huge Raiders fan because Chris has this room, a beautiful house with a room that's a whole shrine to the Raiders with signed this, that, and the other. And he goes, the Raiders. he goes, oh, he's got to go to the game. He's got to be at this game. He's got to come to my booth this time. If he's a Raiders fan, he will end up my booth. So he writes down his name, his two web address, websites for his company, his two email addresses, and his personal cell phone number. What happened, dude? Well, I think I missed out on the game with former Raider players. Yeah. Uh, half of the picture that I got from my dad didn't actually go through, so I had to have him resend it. But I sent an email immediately, and uh, I waited a day, and I was it's the next day, so a day has passed, and I'm about to call him, because I was like, you know, I was thought email's better. He works a lot, just kind of like I do. And I get a, I wake up to this phone call. It's his secretary, Jessica, saying, you know, would you like to talk about a Raiders game? Of course. I say, of course I would talk about a Raiders game. Who doesn't want to go to a Raiders game? Sorry uh, to USJ Poor. I mean, the Steelers suck, okay? <laughs> you got Ben Wraith, Raplessberger over there. So, but... I, you know, maybe the Raiders might turn around this year. So, of course, I want to go. She says, any game. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interject before he names his game. Because, as, as cuz Chris, now that he's a relative, says, hey, any team can have a bad decade. And everyone leans at the table and goes, decade? <laughs> yeah, it's two decades, okay? <laughs> two decades. <laughs> So, so what did you work out? What did you work out? So she's like, the soonest I can get you is the away game at Seattle. And like, that would have worked out perfectly, but I need to request time off from work. I don't want to call in sick. Uh, I'm trying to get a higher date there. So, Plus, he wants to be in the stadium. Yeah, Let's and I want to go to... He wants to be in the stadium. I want to go to Oakland Coliseum. Because Chris be has a suite. Year. He has a suite. So, scrolling through... November 9th, what do I see? Denver Broncos. I go, do you have tickets for the Denver, or do you have a ticket for the Denver Bronco game? Is it available? She's like, let me look. Yes, I do have a ticket. Do you want a guess? And I go, perfect. Yes. I have a friend that would die to go to the Denver Broncos game because he drafted all Denver players for fantasy last year. So I was like, this is perfect. So I'm going to the Denver game, which I don't want to know how much tickets for that game would cost at the Oakland Coliseum. And it's in the suite, so you have the suite plus the, suite. the seats. Yeah. So, yeah. okay, so November might be a good month. 
eh, you know, I'm buying a t plane ticket next week for to go there, and I'm pretty stoked. Cas Chris is known for having uh, influential people and former players in his booth, so I'm Thank you, sure Chris. have a great uh, time. I'm, Thanks, Chris. I'm yeah, I'm so jazzed. Like this is like the one thing I want to do. I've never been to an NFL game because you know I live in Portland and parents didn't have that much money when we lived in LA so this will be my first game in a suite watching the Raiders at Oakland Coliseum which might be their last year there I'm stoked and then from there on out I actually want to go to every single other stadium in the United States watching the Raiders That's play a something. great goal it's a great goal in my life that I want to start on here in the next few years. So I love the son. He's like, I owe you. Man, you don't owe me nothing, man. He'll be so happy. That's a total reward. Oh, yeah. Nothing's owed to me. I already got everything. I'm going to see the Raiders in a booth. <laughs> All right. So we're going to call it good. We're going to flip up some, some video of down south. And we want to say big hellos and thank yous to everyone down south, family members and friends. The man better pig. Brandon Finch, and uh, my best friend Dan, who I got to spend a day and a half with hanging with because we just don't get that much time, and I love you, brother. Uh, so what can we say? Happy Homebrew Wednesday because we're happy. <laughs> we're always happy. We are always happy. All right, you guys all have a great week. Cheers, man. See you guys. Oh, my goodness. Wake up. I know. Alright. <laughs> we are on the path of joy and unity. Right on, evidently part of the path is nudity. That's great, I'm in. We're in Ashland, Oregon. They're like like all hippies down here. This is awesome. I gotta get me a tie-dye shirt. That's our float. Believe it or not, the pollen is a protein. And so Okay, we've got the citra pale. And this is nice. I mean it is a pale ale, but man, there's a load of citrus on there. Dinner arrived. Mahi Mahi Burger. Oh, yeah. And the next one is the Dry Hop Orange. And it has Amarillo Cascade and Galena on it. This is killer. It's super light, super easy to drink. Great, great taste. Loads of orange and tangerine, but just, it is a pale. It's beautiful. All right, this is Simcoe and Centennial. It's called Hop Hash. Yeah. Oh my god. Prolific. And from experience as a young man, I would say yes. <laughs> this is this is for hardcore IPA people. Big time. It's it's definitely a hot pass. Then we've got the good bean coffee brown. This is stupendous. I know I've seen that. There is fantastic coffee on it. Look how light this is. I mean, this is really light. Look at the lacing on that glass. Fantastic coffee flavor, but just super light in taste. Really well balanced. This is a stellar beer. This would be a this would be a morning beer all summer long. And finally, we've got the coconut porter. Chocolate coconut yeah. porter. This is wonderful. The coconut is like a powdered coconut, you know, like the shredded coconut with that powder taste. But there's a nice, like, chocolate flavor on it. It tastes like German chocolate cake. It really does. Wow. And it's also really light. I mean, these are all super light beers. They work in the warm weather. It's in the upper 80s. Caldera Brewing. Good food too. Cheers. Yeah, all of the uh, nicer hotels in the area were, were taken up with, uh, I don't know if it was a fireman's convention or fighting fires, so we got to stay at the lovely Sky Terrace Motel. Oh yes.
Russian River doesn't open for another uh, 25 minutes, but you can see people are gathering up already. So the Russian River bar is packed. There's a line to get in. There's even a short line just to buy bottles. I'm at Russian River and uh, it's interesting. They don't, uh, they don't have like a four or five beer sampler, eight beer sampler. The sampler is every beer they have on tap. Or you can have the right side of the board or the left side of the board, which is a lot of beers. I'm going with the right side because that's all the crazy stuff, supplication and etc. So <laughs> it'll be fun. Thank goodness I'm only getting half the beers. I'm gonna be busy. Whew. I made it through the lineup of nine here. The wife's driving. Sours really, they really are the star of the show. You get into the temptation, supplication, and consecration, and especially the last two, supplication and consecration. Uh, man, that's some wonderful stuff. on this San Andreas Fault. Where's Superman when you need him? Hey guys, here we are. Where we, where'd you take me, Dan? Dublin 4 in lovely Mission Viejo, California. This is my best friend, Dan. We've been best friends for more years than we want to say. Yes. Yeah. And we are here with Belching Beavers Peanut Butter Stout. This is a chocolate peanut butter stout. We're going to give this one a try. With your help. You know what? This is pretty damn good. And you guys know that I've had several other peanut butter chocolate stouts. It's um, it's a medium body though, so it's a little bit lighter still. There's a little bit of creaminess to it. You definitely get the peanut butter right away. What kind of chocolate would you say is on there? To me, it's a darker chocolate. And it, that, the chocolate is what hit me right away as well. Yeah. And uh, this is a replacement because I had promised Kevin the uh, stout that was aged in wild turkey bourbon barrels. And I was really excited for him to come down. I've been talking about it for months, and they decided to change their lineup. So I was very disappointed. However, I am now not disappointed anymore. We're and good. We're going to give him some really crazy beers moving forward. But this is actually good. Yeah, the chocolate on it, it's a little bit darker chocolate. I get a hint of like the Easter egg flavor, which means there's probably some vanilla on this. And, um, but it's not like a real strong chocolate. So all the flavors are kind of light, but I think it's got a pretty nice balance. So to those of you who said I needed to get the Belching Beaver and try that one, we can check her off the list. Yes, and thank this you. is nice. Thank you, whoever that was. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Now we're gonna enjoy some gastronomic food. Yes, with and some we'll chips and, uh, and a nice burger. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right, we're just, we're chowing down here. We are at the Dublin 4 Gastro Pub. Mission Viejo, California. Good old Mission Viejo, and I'll tell you what, this burger, I'm gonna show you what little I've got left, that's all that's left. before I bite it. This is the most juicy, flavorful burger you, you ever wanna have. Fantastic. Had you, had you popped in just well, moments earlier, you would have seen a nice, juicy, 
burger, but however, uh, you would have seen all the, you know, going down the sides of my yeah, face. Yeah, the heart issue it was, it was something else. But uh, it's a good thing because if you had been here, you had to keep his, your hands and feet away from his mouth. And, and, and if you end up here, you got to make sure you try the, uh, I don't know if they call them mushy peas, but actually really good food. So again, this is Dublin 4 Gastro Pub. Excellent. Great Irish food and uh, some good beers. <laughs> I was waiting All for All right, man, Josh, Josh brought out the goods. We've got the Sticky Monkey from Firestone Walker. This is our dessert beer. And we're rocking here, so we've got Josh, of course. We've got my buddy Dan. Over here hiding is uh, Wolfpack Booty uh, Jonathan. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh, Fred's here. And he's, he's not sure if he wants to try it, but we'll let him try it. I'll but try it. this is w one heck of a good beer, but... What uh, Dan here, the novice, did was something special. We've got homemade vanilla ice cream and we mixed it. I'm gonna tell you, this is off the charts. We got our Hawaiian music going, something new. and now we're gonna put him right on the yes. spot. Yes, well, I'm gonna try, and we're gonna I'm let gonna Fred try this. try this and see what he thinks. Root beer floats. Mm. So oh, this is okay. how we roll. And this is it. I think the ice cream's melted by now, but it's okay. it'll be nice and creamy. Wow, that's the first beer float. <laughs> Not root beer. Beer float I've ever had in my life. It's not bad. It's not bad. So this is the beginning of a, of a great little a weekend. Beautiful there. relationship. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. We're an Oceanside. We're an Oceanside. Here's my sister, Colleen, and my... I did not permit this at, on my... This is Taco Tuesday house. Oh, hi, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> right on, hey, we're at Pizza Port in Carlsbad. Look, we've got Brandon here with us. We, we've got the Man Bear Pig. We've got Captain Dan here. We're all set up. And we've got some beer, of course. So we're going to have a good night. We might show you a few clips. But uh, unfortunately, uh, Stumpy Joe Jr. stubbed his toe. We don't know what happened. But we'll catch up with Ryan someday. Peace out. Cheers. Look, beer. This is Man Bear Pig relaxing, coming at you yeah, from the Man Bear so Pig fun. Palace. I got my best friend, Dan. We've got Brandon. We've got the Man Bear Pig. This is, this is, actually it's been a fun day. Uh, we've had a good evening. And uh, we were just down at Pizza Port. Oh, yeah, and, that's right. Uh, sampled quite a few Woo! beers. Had some good food. Oh yeah. And a couple of beers on nitro other. were amazing. I'm just gonna say that. And now, <laughs> we, <laughs> we are in the Man Bear Pig Mansion. Right here. <laughs> so this is it. And uh, Brandon has a amazing special beer to introduce. Well, uh, obviously, uh, as you can see, or if you know what it is, it's the Sam Adams Utopias. So I know there is a hefty price tag on it, but it's something that you share with friends and close fr uh, relatives and uh, anyone that you appreciate. So. so for someone that doesn't know what this is, can you explain what this is? Uh, this is their, it's over 18 years old, and it's 27%. Um, and what they've done at the brewery is they basically have uh, had it aging in barrels. So it's a blend of yeah. different beers from various barrels that run like I think in the 15 to 18 year range. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah. This, this is this is the top of my white whale is to try the Utopia. So. And uh, I, I, I just, I love them. <laughs> I had to drive. I, I wanted to be known. I had to drive because Kevin was so excited he couldn't drive. Yeah, I it wasn't the alcohol. I was just, 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 I was but anyway, thank you for sharing. Yeah, uh, what a thanks, treat. Guys. It's my pleasure and my honor. I mean, sharing it with great people and great friends. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> all right, we'll catch y'all next time, folks. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I'm getting warm off that couple of sips. I'll tell you. Get warm. <laughs> I'll tell you.